okay so I'm about halfway through my to my journey um, going up to Boston to see my daughter for the weekend to celebrate her birthday a week late um, I'm sitting here in traffic because that's what happens when you're on 84 going to Boston and I'm just thinking about how my life's changed since the last couple of months since I've gone into Lyme remission and I've made this trip quite a bit since my daughter moved to Boston to go to college you know the last five years and when with Lyme I would be driving like this <laughs> like both hands on the wheel I was so anxious driving and especially like in this when there was any kind of like delay like this I would get tense and stressed out and I would start you know gripping and then you know I already had massive pain in my head and my neck and my shoulders and my back so all of this tension would just create even more tension in my body and even more anxiety but the anxiety was really something that I wasn't aware of at the time. I didn't know it was anxiety and I didn't even know I was tense. I didn't even know I was driving like this until I'm listening to music right now and I'm driving and I'm realizing I've got like one hand on the wheel and the other hand on my lap and I'm just really in a relaxed state. And I know a lot of people might be thinking, big freaking whoop. <laughs> but that, I'm just trying to um, find moments to explain to people what Lyme disease feels like, what it feels like to be trapped in a body and things are happening to you and you're responding and you're reacting and you don't even realize it. You don't even realize that, you know, your body's been locked up for four years and you're and that's made you anxious and that you're clutching onto the steering wheel because you're scanning everywhere and you you don't know if that truck's gonna cut you off and you don't know, you know, like everything just seems so close and everything seems like it's coming at you really fast. And the best way I try to describe this to people is that I just became like super, like oh, hypersensitive with Lyme and that meant smells and sounds and uh, traffic and anything that just was coming at me too quickly was really overwhelming and it made me not want to leave the house and it made me really feel worse because I'd, I'd, I'd show up somewhere and I'd get sick and I'd get a migraine and I wouldn't feel well and I'd be exhausted because I was just clutching on for dear, le dear life trying to make sure that like something bad wasn't going to happen to me. So I certainly wouldn't have been sitting in traffic recording myself uh, and you know being like I said pretty pretty relaxed about it and it's not something that I think of that I've been thinking about consciously like oh I need to be more relaxed I need to relax my shoulders I need to not be quite so anxious this is just a result of not being in a state where neurological Lyme is controlling your body and your brain and your emotions and Again, like I'm sharing this because as I'm doing things for the first time and realizing Lyme no longer has a hold on me, it's kind of interesting because I'm, I'm realizing for the first time all of the little ways that it sort of held me back and kept me trapped and kept me like in a, in a state of anxiety and in a state of fear and in a state of, you know, depression and sadness and not being able to live my life the way I wanted to and I know some people will say look it's Lyme you could still drive up to Boston to see your daughter it's not that big of a deal and maybe it's not but we take so many things for granted like our ability to drive and our ability to drive well and our ability to go places and not be afraid and not be overwhelmed and not be scared that when that's taken away and you start to lose your independence that, that can be really frightening and that can really change your life and it can really diminish the quality of your life in huge ways that people don't really understand and that maybe you don't even understand unless you get those things back. And I've been really lucky because I have gotten those things back and that's why I am pointing them out because I'm super appreciative that these things that I once took for granted are now really super cool <laughs> it's really cool to be able to drive and not be so scared and stressed out I, used, I started to think like well you're you know this is what happens you're
you're middle aged, you're supposed to be afraid to drive, and no, that's not what happens. I mean, I never liked driving particularly, but I didn't hate it, I wasn't afraid of it. So I'm just pointing out, as traffic starts to move, I'm starting to move and I'm starting to get back into the groove of things and that's really been major for me and that's the kind of thing, these are the kind of ways that like Lyme can impact your life and you don't even know it till it's over.